All right, so this is going to be my top 10 Strawberry Jam collab maps. Uh, sorry to the Grandmaster mappers and composers. Uh, I don't plan to do Grandmaster. I'm burned out. Um, Expert was way harder than I was expecting it to be. You know, I was expecting Expert to be along the same lines of difficulty as Spring Collab was, but uh, that was not the case. Although there were a few pretty easy maps like Hype No Gagey and stuff. But uh, aside from that, um, this took way longer than I thought it would. But yeah, anyways, uh, this is only going to be up to Expert. Um, this is my favorite maps, only my opinions, not what I think are the best. Uh, and if you don't like it, feel free to uh, let me know and tell me I, my opinion is trash. It's fine with me. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to hurt my feelings or, you know, rile me up with something you say. Uh, it's impossible to offend me, basically. But anyways, um, so the way I'm going to scale these maps are going to be uh, gameplay, obviously the highest scale, then music, then art. Um, and I'm trying to show love to all of the lobbies because if I didn't I'd probably have most of the maps be from expert on the top 10 um, but most of the maps on the top 10 are from experts so, <laughs> uh, but I, I have some uh, beginners and intermediates and stuff like that um, and I do have a bias towards like time related mechanics so prepare to see that on the list um, also, I'm no one in the Celeste community. You know, I'm just some random guy. So don't take it to heart. It's not like, you know, your favorite speedrunner is fucking making these, uh, making this rating and, you know, it's gonna, uh, make you sad or something. Don't worry, I'm just a random dude, alright? Um, and in the YouTube video, if you don't want to sit through the whole video, I'll just have time steps in the description. So look down there, it'll be spoiler free. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't know if there's anything else to say. Oh, I'm gonna go through, I'm just gonna go to each map, spend like maybe two, three minutes talking about it, and then, you know, go to the next one. And there's honorable mentions. So, uh, let's get started, I guess. So the first map, oh yeah, I don't know where these maps are. So <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit to find them. Uh, I gotta see the difficulty and then look for the colors. Alright, so the first map is in Beginner Lobby. Let's see... Uh... Okay. Let's see if I can find this one. I don't want to talk about it before I get there, because by the time I get there, I'm gonna be done talking about it, so I'm, let me just try to look for it. Uh, it's probably... Maybe... Is this it? This isn't red, is it? Wow, this was red? It's definitely not this one. Uh, maybe below? The first hint is that it's red. that one here we go the gift from the stars this is the 10th place map and you know what I, let me do this real quick actually since I wrote these things down I'll go ahead and have this up and ready so I can make changes and boom So, this map, in my opinion, is the best puzzle map in the game. And when I was doing this map, I was so frustrated. Like, I did not like to doing this map much at all while I was doing it. But I have to give props where props are due. And, uh, like I said earlier, with the time mechanics, um, you know, the puzzles are time mechanic related, so... 
It's gonna give it a bit of a leg up while doing it. I'm already stuck. How do I get up here? <laughs> uh, Alright, hold on. I think I remember. So let's go uh, stat by stat here. As far as the art goes, it's very basic. Like, I think this stuff is in the, the game already, so... It's not, a. Uh... It's not impressive or anything like that. It's just regular art. Give it an average score 5. And the music, uh, it's kind of low right now because I think I'm in the beginning stages, but... Um, paint is the best beginner map. Hey, we'll get there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, I mean, paint's obviously on the list. Anyone who makes a top 10 list and paint's not on there, they're, they're puffing that good good. I'm just going to say. Um, seems way harder. Oh yeah, yeah. So, anyways, this map I like a lot because I, the puzzles are just—they're annoying, but they're also pretty good. It's like you gotta give credit where credit is due, and um, you know, I gotta give credit to this one. Uh, the very last screen is also pretty difficult. But I'm not going to get all the way over there. Um, the music, though, uh, it's just okay. It's fitting, so that's why it's got, like, an average score. Like, you know, you're, like, in the eerie forest and whatnot, so... You know, I'll give her props. I'll give her props. But, you know, the gameplay gets a 9 because I think it's the best puzzle map in the collab. But the best puzzle screen in the collab... Uh, actually goes to, in my opinion, the tower 16, 14, in, in the advanced lobby. There's one screen in that, in that, uh, I'll go to it, fine, I'll just go, just go to it. Uh, there's one screen that has a puzzle that is, like, freakishly difficult. Um, yeah, let's just go, go over there. Freakishly difficult. I'm not going to do it, but I'll just show you what I'm talking about. It's a little bit of a tangent. That's alright. No big deal. Mm, usually pretty good at puzzles, but the last room of this gave me quite a bit of trouble. Uh, and Gifts from the Stars? Yeah, the last room is actually pretty difficult. I was almost considering looking it up. But I'm like, man, this is beginner. How could I look it up if it's beginner? Okay, where is the tower? Just want to show you guys that map from the tower. Oh, a gift from the stars? Not this one. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm showing you the tower is because the tower is not on my top ten. So, just want to give credit to the tower for that last screen because it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm awesome in a in a bad way because of how difficult it is uh where is this thing uh, i know it's in the sky somewhere is this it no oh this is it i think how many times i died 511 it's more than some expert uh deaths. So, if I just go all the way up here, where is it? Not this one. Where is it? This, this room. This room is the best puzzle room in the game. I'm not going to spoil how to do it, but when you get here, prepare to destroy your brain. I haven't actually played in advance yet though, so try not to spoil too much. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'm just gonna let you know that this map is, uh, you know, the, uh, in my opinion, the hardest puzzle map so far, at least, uh, in my opinion. Gotta keep saying that, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, that was my number 10. Let's go to number nine. Uh, number nine is, where's number nine? <laughs> I think number nine's intermediate. Yeah, all right. Let's set up the intermediate lobby. <clears throat> Once I get there, I'll uh, put my ratings and stuff. 
Uh, turn to map. Okay. I think this one's toward the bottom, if I remember correctly. I don't remember what color it is. So let me actually look at the book. Man, I forgot how cozy uh, this lobby is. Okay, so, yellow, where's all the yellow? Is on the left? Okay, okay. Where am I? Let's teleport here. There's three yellows nearby. Nice, okay, okay. Number nine, Honey Zip Ink. Let's go ahead and update the text. show up yeah it's showing up honey zip ink maybe I should get rid of the uh, the timer speed run clock uh, see it better uh, honey zip ink uh, at first I didn't really like that this map that much but I think the music and the art of it is like some of the best in the, in the collab like all the assets seem very unique also, the music's by the GUR90, so obviously it's going to be good. Um, but I'm not too big a fan of this hanging thing. I'm not too big a fan of it. This would have been higher if uh, the gameplay was better. But personally, I'm not into this. This uh, hanging technique. But the music is great. The art, unique and great. And it's... I still gave the gameplay a pretty good score, you know, 7, because aside from these hanging things, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Hang gliders? I'm just gonna call them hang gliders. Uh, aside from the hang gliders, uh, it's a pretty fun map. And like toward the middle, uh, there is a part where you have to like, you sort of get to pick your own path, which in my opinion is pretty cool. What do I do here? Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to remember why I don't like that mechanic. Oh no. Oh no. Let me just get past the screen real fast. Get past the screen so I can show what I'm talking about. Alright, I got past the screen. Uh, where is it? Right here? Right here. There we go, I passed. Where am I? Okay, I think this is the area. Yeah, this is the area. So this is kind of like an area where you, that kind of splits off and you can just kind of pick your own path. I tend to like that in maps. It's pretty cool. Let's see, anything else? What else to say about this one? It's kind of hard to talk a lot about intermediate maps because, you know, the depth of them only goes so far. There's another map in the collab like this, um, where it kind of splits off and you kind of pick your own direction, that didn't make it into the top 10, but did make it into the honorable mentions. Maybe someone might be able to guess it. Mm. But I kind of wanted to get more music playing so you can see why I gave the music a high score. It's pretty nice, pretty nifty. Anyways.
let's keep going i don't want this video to be an hour long <laughs> uh okay number nine honey zip ink all right number eight also an intermediate lobby uh, i, I kind of remember where it is yep Square the circle. This one is pretty good as well. Square the circle. So, mm, <laughs> feels so clean like a money machine. Better be number one. Hey, man, that's the wrong collab. That collab is, uh, I mean, that map is in a uh, Secret Santa, man. Hmm. Although I do wonder if they're gonna make a sequel to that uh, I just noticed the bra in the background I didn't see that before so as you can see the art is a nine you know all of these assets seem unique the background very synth wavy it's pretty cool the only thing I wish I probably would have gave it a 10 if they added like some characters like throughout the whole map there's just nobody around it's just a it's just empty there's just chairs and stuff you know and the music I would give it higher than a seven, but like if I have to think of like regular synthwave tracks, uh, I feel like they're better than this. Not to say it's bad, but I think it could have been better. It's like someone, I don't know who did the music, but um, it's like they've never done synthwave before and they just kind of just studied like, oh, how do I do this? Um, you know, this is like the first synthwave track they've done or something like that. Sapphire Dash? What is that? Sapphire Dash? Did I miss something? Did I miss something. Okay, I see. Hey, oh, they want to go back in there. Let me get past this map. It's a hard list map with a similar art style. List? List map? What? Okay. Alright, I'll take it. But yeah, I do like the lighting here. It's pretty cool. So, the main mechanic of this map, you know, I gave the gameplay an 8. Uh, although, if this was a map in, like, a, a different difficulty, probably wouldn't be that high, but I think it fits for intermediate. Um... And the mechanic is, there's no real mechanic, I guess. Yeah, I guess it would be considered the bubbles here. But the only thing that are that's in the bubbles are directions of where you have to, you know, hold your analog stick or D-pad or keyboard keys. So like, you know, when I jump into this bubble, it wants me to go, you know, up left and up right. Up, up, right, hold forward, left. So it's kind of like a guide on like how to do the level. Okay. Mm. I see, I see, I see. there that's it but anyways square the circle not sure what significance the name is but you know not too bad that's my number eight map let's keep going number eight number seven okay here we go we, we got a fun one coming up 
Number seven. Oh, actually, it's not here. <clears throat> Number seven is an expert lobby. Since I've been intimate with the expert lobby for a very long time now, um, because of how long it's taken, I have an idea of where this map is already. Uh, let's go look for it. Wait, what's this at? Oh, it's not it. It's over here somewhere. Narrow Hollow. <clears throat> Narrow Hollow is number seven for me. To me, this map was like so fun to play. I did mention earlier uh, that I have a bias for time mechanics, but I also have a bias for mechanics that are not even like in like like nothing new. Just I'm playing Celeste. So the creativity and the idea of this map is, I think, is just so awesome. Where like you know it's it's very narrow, but there's specific techniques that you don't really see used in other maps um, to do things, right? And it mostly has to do with the covenants. Okay, how do I do this job? <laughs> I kind of forgot how to do this. I should probably skip this screen and show like a better example. Okay, I think that's a... a spike jump. <clears throat> or a spinner jump or whatever. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Just give me one second. Just one sec, one sec. There we go. Like, do you see this here where you have to tag it? Like, it leaves you with just enough space to thread the needle. Like, this map is like thread the needle map, the map. Damn, how, was, how did this one go again? Man, I forgot everything. Let me skip this one. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. One I remember. Uh... I also think the music is very catchy. So, you know, give it a seven. The only blemish is the art, you know? It's not unique art. It's, uh, it's just regular Celeste assets. So it just gets like an average score for me in that respect. Uh... Okay. Of course, I haven't played all the mods out there. I haven't there's like so many mods that may have done an idea like this already. Okay, okay, I remember, I remember. I'll screw that up. Let me just do the screen, alright? Let me do the screen real fast. Screw it up again. <clears throat> I think the mechanic is that Kevin's pushing you while in the bubble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in square of the circle. Yeah, that is definitely one of the mechanics. Probably the unique one. You know, the unique one about that uh, event. Damn, how did I do that before? <laughs> Can't remember. But the music is catchy. Alright, one more try, one more try. One more try, one more try, for real. One good try, one good try. Ah. 
Uh, one more really good try. Just a really good try. Just a really good try. Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay. Anyways, that's enough of this map. That's my number seven map. Gameplay is up there, in my opinion. It's very fun to do. All right, next one. Next one is something. Next one is probably going to be on a lot of people's lists. Probably on a lot of people's lists. Uh, what color is it? Oh, I remember what color is it, or what color it is. Uh, where is the book? I think I saw it while I was uh, looking for the tower. No, oh, not that one. Is it this one? No, oh, not that one either. Nope. Oh. I think it's somewhere in the sky. That one either. No, nope, not this one. Okay. Dar she blows. Attack of the clone. My sixth favorite map. Let me go ahead and. Oops. Oh shit. Throw it up here. So this map is... was kind of out of left field. It's pretty fun. So, the whole premise of the map is you have to attack uh, battling. Of course, another song by the Gur. Very, very catchy. And I think the uh, art is pretty good too. Shit, uh, hold on, relax, relax, relax. Okay, hold on. Okay, uh... However, the only bad thing I have to say about this map is I think it's a little harder than uh, yellow. It doesn't seem that way at first, but the very last screen is pretty difficult. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as soon as I get to the last screen. Although I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> Let me just beat this screen and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. Oh, I gotta shoot, I gotta throw it over, okay. Okay. No big deal, no big deal. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I'll say no way. Alright, let me show you the last screen here. To show you why it's such a pain in the ass. Okay, not that one. Hopefully, I remember how to do it. Okay, that took a long time to get over there. I do this. Okay. 
I think this screen, I'm not going to do it. Uh, this screen is a little hard for yellow advance. Even though the techniques might be yellow advance techniques, it's uh, it's still a little hard, in my opinion, to uh, for like an advanced yellow map, in my opinion. Um, but I think that I've shown off the map enough. Catchy music, catchy gameplay, cool art style. All right, next. Number five. Uh, back to a lobby that we're gonna spend a be a lot of, uh, spend to be a lot of time in. <laughs> Spending a lot of time in. Uh, I know where it's at. Let's go ahead and just use the chair. Wherever it is. Where's the chair? Kaboom. Okay. Garden of Kutara, in my opinion, is my fifth favorite map. People are probably wondering, where's paint? Is paint going to be number one? Garden of Kutara. So, I think Garden of Kutara has the second best art in the game. Everything is unique. Uh, I think I think everything's unique. Uh, if not, most of it seems unique. <laughs> uh, maybe the blocks, some of the tiles may may not be unique. But I think the uh, art style of this map is very nice. You have like, you know, that little fox character chilling down there. There's actually a few characters in this map. Um, but it's very nice. Music is also very fitting. Um, I'm gonna play a little bit. <clears throat> Drone indicators are your friends. Yeah, the lighting also does quite a lot. It's pretty, pretty insane. Did I miss something? Hey, open this door. Oh, there's a portal. Falling leaves, the waterfalls in the background. It's just a work of art, man. I don't know what else to say. It's a work of art. <laughs> it's just that good. Oh, it looks amazing. The only, I guess, blemish would be the uh, the dirty water, whatever this thing is. That'd be like the only thing you can criticize. But that's about it. I don't think you can criticize anything else. Like even with that, I'd still say it's a ton. Um. I mean, maybe they could have made it a little more red. Uh, personally, like, anything that can kill you that you can't see is, like, something I would consider a blemish on your map. But, um, in this case, it's not hard to see. You can still kind of see it. And it's not something that, you know, will kill you while you're, like, flying through the air trying to, like, you know, see where you dash or jump or something. But the main mechanic of this map is the these uh, blue springs. Like you basically have springs that you can hold on to, um, which is a pretty neat idea. And then you also have uh, this map is hard, so I'm gonna just be moving around here. Uh, sit in here. Okay. Wait a minute, was there like a thing back here? A character? Oh yeah, see? 
another character. You have the statue, pretty unique. All right, let me go back here. Since this is a uh, the, f since this is a top five map, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on it than you than usual. Another reason why I like this map is because the gameplay of it is just, aside from the unique mechanic, the uh, just the overall gameplay of it is like so fun. What do I do here again? Hmm. Think I alter that? Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, alright. Trying to get to the other mechanic, where's it at? Uh, maybe right here. So the other mechanic is this red grass, which I don't know exactly what it does, but based on how I've been treating it, it basically gives you a boost of speed. Not just on the ground, but right here, like the wall boost, or wall bounce, whatever you want to call it. I think this is a tutorial screen, yeah. Oh yeah, and you see the animals in the water? Pretty good, pretty good. <clears throat> Let's see, how do I do this one again? That's right, that's right. Hmm. Forgot to do this. Whatever, no big deal. Anyways, Garden of Katara, number five. Very cozy map. Sweet gameplay. And next, number four. Also in the expert lobby. Let's go find it. I forgot if it was green or yellow. Number four, Clockwork. Clockwork, this map was uh, unexpectedly fun. I did not think it was going to be that fun, but it is actually very fun. Forgot to update the thing, let me do that. Clockwork, baby. So, now we're down to the maps that have a 10 in gameplay. Um, this map doesn't do anything new aside from... It's not, it's kind of a time mechanic, kind of not really a time mechanic. Uh, but it has to do with timing in the sense that you have to, uh, you know, get to these blocks in time. If that makes sense. What do you want to do here? Bunny jump, bunny hop. Another one of the things that I really like about the gameplay of this, though, is that it's pretty readable. Like, if you get to a certain section, you can kind of see what to do next. Maybe I have to do a uh, wave dash. Oh, super. Okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. You don't use any tech in the first room? Uh, of clockwork? Let me just go to the next one. Where am I? Where's my cursor? I don't know where the cursor is. All right, let me just beat it. It's not that. Bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Hmm. Nice. Only jumps and dashes. I keep doing that. Not even a hyper? Wait, you're telling me that I'm just jump, jumping and dashing? Really? Oh shit, alright, damn. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's cool. Um...
Okay, okay. Let me get to a more fun screen. There's definitely some really fun screens in this, uh... I don't know. Where's my mouse? Just use damn mouse. Okay, let's try this. So, the music is definitely fitting for this, um, this map. Like, there's a, like, a clock sound in the background, that you can hear. It's kind of hard to hear right now, but once the music ramps down a little bit, definitely be able to hear it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Alright, I'll do this last screen. Or I'll get close to doing this last screen. I guess the uh, weakest part is, of course, the uh, art. Art's just very basic, just has like gears in the background. Very dark. Um, there's some clock stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but in the deep background, I wonder if there's a screen I can uh, go to to show it off more. Okay, okay, okay. I read it too late. I read it too late. But I think for an expert map, this map is incredibly fun to do. There's just nothing about it that's annoying at all either. Cool, pretty cool. Uh, still can't see the background. Okay, oh, you can kind of see it a little bit. Like the back background. Anyways, let's not give too much away. Uh, let me just see if I can find a spot that shows off the background pretty well. Kind of, kind of. You see like a clock there and a gear. I remember this screen. This screen's pretty fun too. Give me a couple more tries here and get to the fun part. There's a lot of stuff as well in this map with pufferfish. Oh, the berry here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, no. oh shit. Uh, do this. Is that how I open up? Yeah, there's definitely some cool berry rooms in some of these maps. One of these days. Can't even get there. There we go. Yeesh. Okay. 
I don't remember what to do here. I don't, actually, I don't even think I got this berry. Sorry, right. no big deal, no big deal. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. I think this is one of my overall favorites too. Clockwork was so fun. Yeah, man. It's like, I don't think I've heard a single person like say anything bad about this map ever. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay, okay. It's like, this is one of the maps that it's like fun to, like you don't even need to, uh... oh, let me get that. Yeah, just look at this. Ooh. Oh my god. Shh. But there's the berry. Alright, I think I've been here for a while. I can get this berry another day. But this is definitely one of those maps where, like, you don't even want to look at the, uh, the binoculars. You just kind of want to just go in and do it, you know, because it's just that much fun. Anyways, back to the lobby. Down to the top three. Top three. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think I remember where this other one is. Also, an expert lobby map. Expert lobbies are everywhere in this uh, top ten, huh? I mean, expert maps are everywhere. This one is my number three. Of course, like I said before, anything that has to do with time is of course oh oh no the game crashed damn all right all right hold on no big deal no big deal we'll just boot it up again mm. hopefully nothing needs to update but yeah number three time trouble i really like this map i love the gameplay in it because uh it's uh I, I can't remember any other maps that sort of just you know you had a certain amount of time to do something before it teleported you to another location it's pretty cool but let's wait for this thing to launch before uh, I go a little bit deeper into it uh, I wonder if anyone's gonna be able to figure out what number one is <laughs> is it paint could it really be paint uh, hello, Celeste. Still running. You know, even though I disabled, like, all of the mods except the ones required for uh, Sprinkle Lab and um, Strawberry Jam, it still takes forever to load. Mm. Don't know why. Don't know why. Time trouble, another banger so satisfying? Yeah, dude. That's hella satisfying. Let's go back. Let's see, is it save me? Oh, okay. Back down to Chinatown. Nope, not that way. Time trouble. So, as you can see, the art in my opinion, it's kind of whatever. I'm not a really big fan of like this grayscale type of image. Um, I think it's kind of boring. But I would say that the gameplay and the music more than make up for it. You know, it's number three and the art is a four, so that means the gameplay and the music must be a fucking banger. And it is. So. The main mechanic, as I was mentioning earlier, is when you get these uh, clocks right here, you have a specific amount of time to do something before it tells puts you back to that spot. Paint might be number two, you might know number one. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Let's see, uh, uh, do you think, what, what lobby is number one in then? If you think you might know it. 
if it's a uh, number one. Uh, damn, how do I do this? So like, expert? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Um, so like you have two clocks here. Since I hit this first one, it's gonna teleport me there first. Isn't that so cool? I think, I think this might be, well, number one has my favorite mechanic, but this one might be my second favorite mechanic overall. Just like, you know, where you have to do things and it just takes you there. It's so cool. It's so cool. Damn. Almost, almost. I haven't played int advance, so there might be something better there. Oh, well, if you haven't played in advance, then um, you're definitely uh, you're definitely at a disadvantage of knowing. Mm, you think X work too, really? Pretty sure I know what you guys are gonna say. And uh I won't say if you're right or wrong. I'm gonna get there first. <laughs> Cause then I'll spoil what number one is. But anyways, uh there's not much else to say about this map other than the mechanic just basically makes it so sick. It's like there's two clocks here, it's go left. It's just Okay, oh, I think I'm supposed to get my dash there. Okay. I don't remember. I don't want to do too much of this map, though. I'm going to explain... Ah, uh, no, I won't spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. Right before I do number one, I'm going to tell you why... Uh, why number one is number one. And why another map is a number one. Uh, all right, we're good here. The music catchy as hell. Um, like it has like that eight bit vibe, but um, the gameplay is really what makes this map. It's like my the second favorite gameplay, I would say, or a second favorite mechanic. All right, guys. I think you know where we're going. <clears throat> you know. I don't think this one needs any introduction. I'm pretty sure anyone goes into beginner lobbies like, oh yeah, of course. Of course that one, right? Oh, I yeah, saw the bench. Numero dos is of course, oh. Oh, that's right, you could do this. Oh, I'm an idiot, I forgot about that. Uh, the little house on the prairie. So, this map, this level, is, uh... This is an easy number two, and I'm pretty sure, and I wouldn't complain if anyone said this was their number one map. Uh, I wouldn't complain at all. First and foremost, the best art in the collab. There's no debate. No debate. And no one can fuck with it, okay? So, for a beginner map, I gave the gameplay a nine, but there's no unique mechanic. Right. However, like I was mentioned earlier, I'm biased toward time mechanics, and I'm also biased 
toward just regular Celeste, right? Where there's no mechanic at all. But this mechanic that you see right here is it's not really mechanic, but it's like it's a it's a music mechanic. And I think uh, fusing the music with the gameplay is like the best shit ever. Like these cassettes moving, they're like moving to the background track. Like you hear the little sap. And that's not it, you know? That's, I mean, that's not all. Like, it's not just that. And then the music picks up, obviously. These guys in the background shooting these things down, they are also going in tune with the music. Insane. Insane to me, but it doesn't get a 10 because it, I think it's impossible for a beginner map to get a 10 because it just, uh, it's not like, it's not as fun as like the real fun shit, right? Like you go to expert, you play time, trouble, clockwork. It's like, damn, this shit is so fun. It's so good. This one, it's, it's like a cozy type of fun. It's not like, it's not a... You know, it's not meant to get your blood pumping or the, the adrenaline going. But you can definitely recognize that the gameplay is still up there. Especially for people who don't play Celeste. You know, just like some random person just playing this shit. No big deal. Mm. But, you know, as you can see, the art, unbeaten, unmatched. And there's still some more stuff. That I want to check out, which is another, um, what's it called? Uh, not a mechanic per se, but like another part of the environment that's unique. That's let me just do this. <laughs> uh, probably around here. Well, I don't want to show the whole map off, you know. Just in case someone's watching this who's never played. I kind of just want to get to... Here it is. The paintbrushes. Another unique thing about it that's also in sync with the background. Background music. The only issue, which kind of makes sense, is if you die, the music stops for like half a second. And the reason it does that is so that it can sync the music back up with the background. Like the things that's happening. Music, musical perfection musical perfection and this map is littered with secrets secrets all over the place anyways i don't want to give away too much in case someone hasn't played this but this is the second best map of the collab <clears throat> or second favorite map okay let me let me be careful with my words here uh Although, I don't think anyone would disagree if I said if I did say second best. Okay. Now, before we get into number one, we're going to do some honorable mentions here. Uh, so, uh, this map, I think, has the best music track in the collab. I just need to find it. No, not number one. We're, we're on honorable mentions right now, sir. Not just yet. Uh, is this it? Nope, that's not it. Where she be? I know it's a green map. Oh, probably down here. Mm. 
Here we go. Forest Path. I think this was the very, very first map I played in the collab. And I would say it has the best music. Or the best music track in the collab. But I am lying when I say that. Did I just spinner jump that right there? <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but... It's taken a little bit of time to start, but... Maybe I have to... There we go. This track is, uh... I would say the most beautiful track. And, um... The th actually, this is the second best track. The first best track, I'll just say it. It's uh, the Expert Hard Side. Right? It's, it's very hard to beat Expert Hard Side. The music in Expert Hard Side is insane. But this is second best. And the third best track, or my third favorite track, is actually in the number one map. What could it be? What could it be? Um, but you know, the gameplay of this one is pretty good too. I gave it a six because... The rainbow, uh, the rainbow, uh, crystal is like, you know, it's, it's cool. Nothing wrong with it. And this rainbow crystal comes back in a certain map as well. Spoilers. Oh, whoops. But, um, if you want to hear the whole track here of Forest Path, they do have a band camp for a Spring Collab, and you can just download everything for free and listen to the whole thing there. But I have been playing this track. I think I've played it twice or three times on, like, my intros. Because <laughs> I just uh, I like it that much. Anyways, I have to give a shout-out to this one. And of course, I also have to give a shout out to another one. Oh, it's on Spotify and YouTube now as well? Nice, nice. Mm. Uh, I haven't gone through all the tracks on there yet. I haven't, uh, I've done all of them except the Grandmaster tracks. But I, 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 I mean, I'm lying. I did one Grandmaster track, uh, but I didn't like it that much. Um, it was kind of whatever. Uh, hey, where's the chair, man? Okay, here we go. Next honorable mention in the expert lobby. Uh... So this one gets an honorable mention. Not you. Here you go. This one, you can't, you can't not talk about Summon Downside, okay? Summon Downside, you can't not talk about it. And the reason why it's an honorable mention is because I think it has, besides paint, the best usage of music. And the music track is great. But it's not a track that I'm gonna like listen to in my playlist or something, right? Uh, I think if you're a fan of uh, getting over it type of gameplay, this uh, this map would be right up your alley. But I think what makes this map so great is as you're going, the music just slowly escalates, and it gets more and more like crazy and chaotic. I'm gonna, let me try to do a little bit of this to kind of demonstrate. I'm gonna use save states, by the way, because, uh, you know, I'm not trying to do this shit for real. I'll go here, and just listen to the music, how it kind of like builds and changes.
It gets really high once you get like toward the top. There's one change. Damn, how do I do this again? Just relax, relax. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> doing way better than I thought I would do. Well, I of course, that happens. So now you have this xylophone or whatever it is kicking in now. Hey, listen, I didn't do this before I... Hey, I haven't played this map since I did it, so if you're wondering why, how I'm doing so well, I'm wondering the same thing. Uh, how do I do this? Uh-oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my god. I want to get to the part where it fucking goes apeshit. <laughs> Which is pretty much at the end. Sorry, I'm kind of spoiling this whole map, but uh, I need to make a point here. You no, know let's leave it at that. I won't get to the crazy part, but play the map, get to the crazy part, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, this one's definitely worth a shout out though, for sure. Definitely worth a shout out. All right, next. This one, this one should have made the top 10. Into the top was definitely an experience. It wasn't too much for me because, um, you know, I'm a filthy safe state cheater and I don't really like, uh, getting over it or games like that. So I had no qualms about using safe states. But it's kind of funny, because I did pretty damn well right there, even though I used save states a little bit. Um, where is this map at? This map was going to be on the top 10, but I didn't put it there because it is too similar to one of the maps on there already. Which is... What the hell is this thing? Where would she be? Here we go. This map, I was gonna put it on it. Change in direction. But it's, uh... It's too similar to clockwork. And I had to make the executive decision of putting clockwork instead of this one. Because it's kind of boring, you know. So I put this in the honorable mentions because you know it has to come, it has to be there somewhere. Definitely some uh, some chill vibe expert map. Um, the music is nice and cozy. The scenery and art is nice and cozy, and uh, the gameplay is great. The only big difference between this one and Clockwork is um, like you have dream blocks, right? Clockwork doesn't really have dream blocks. You have dream blocks and you have 
these moving regular blocks. But the diff the new mechanic is like, you know, the uh, it speeds up and stuff. But like once you get to a screen where like all of this stuff combines, like you know, it gets it gets pretty hectic and pretty fun. Let's see if I can find like a fun one here. Maybe this one. Oh yeah, the music is nice too. Okay. Forgot how this went. I forgot how, how to do it, but let's not spend too much time on the honorable mentions. Let's get to uh, the good stuff. There's there's a few more that I feel are worth a mention. Uh, maybe I won't go to these. Maybe I'll just talk about them for a second. Uh, so the first one, which barely made the cut, is Infiltration. Infiltration's in the intermediate lobby. And basically that map is sort of like a Mission Impossible style map. And the reason why it didn't make it is because the music and art is kind of whatever. But the gameplay mechanic of that map is pretty cool. It's... Uh, Basically, you have a crystal, and when you get it, time slows down, which allows you to dash. Uh, um, it allows you to dash, like in very risky circumstances. Like maybe there's like a really narrow part where you need to dash, so the time will slow down, allowing you to dash through that really narrow section. So, um, I'm not going to show it off, but it's definitely worth a mention. Uh, the other map, there's two more, two more. I got a lot of honorable mentions, man. I'm, I'm trying to show some love here. Plasma Reactor, it's an expert level map. Uh, Plasma Reactor, what I liked about it the most was um, the gameplay. It felt like, you know, expert level technique gameplay, but not, um, not annoying, you know? Like, it wasn't annoying gameplay. Sometimes you'll go into a map and, like, you have to do something and it's just so annoying. It's like, oh, God. Like, the whole map or the whole screen is good, but except this part, it's just so annoying. But Plasma Reactor, I didn't really feel that at all. Like, everything just felt really nice. It's it's almost, uh, like, clockwork in a way um, with its gameplay. But clockwork has better music, better art, and, you know, better gameplay. It was just more fun gameplay, to be honest. And then the last one which probably could have made the list if the music wasn't so bad, is uh, the lab. The lab, I believe it's in advanced. Uh, and the main mechanic with that is like wormhole bubbles. That's a very neat idea. It kind of reminds me a lot of uh, time trouble. Um, but <clears throat> uh, time trouble is just, you know, more fun. And it has way better music. The, the music and the, the lab, it gets a three for me because I would have I would have gave it a lower score. But there's one part of the music that's just so funny to me because it just seems so basic. It's like uh, if you don't remember what it is, it's basically like the 8-bit Doom type soundtrack or something like that, but just not great. Um, but there's this one part's like dong 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 dong. Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? It's so bad. It's so bad that it's funny. So I'm like, all right, it made me laugh a little bit. So I'll give it some points. Anyways, let me just get to the damn number one map. All right. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> so let me tell you why you guys are wrong. The reason why you guys are wrong is because Lunar Pagoda, uh, it was disappointing. Lunar Pagoda could have been so much more, but the reason why it's not number one, and it's not even on my list, is because that map, it threw too much out you, at you all at once. It threw way too much at you all at once. Uh, if it was just one mechanic, 
or two mechanics i would have loved that map so much but because they threw so much at you all at once i kind of just was like uh, it was just so annoying there was one particular section i remember there was one screen that had all three time mechanics and i was so not enjoying myself at all like i really just i think i used safe states there and i didn't really care doesn't tell you much info and just expects you to know at all. Like when I first played, when I played the first screen of Lunar Pagoda, I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. The art is good. The music is good. But the mechanic, once, once it shows you that there's three different time mechanics and you're expected to memorize them, it's like, what the hell, dude? Um, Caper Cavortion is your least favorite level in the collab. Uh, my least favorite level in the collab is one that I didn't even play. It was the only level I skipped which was ethereal ascension up here somewhere that's the only level i didn't play that's my least favorite and then maybe my second least favorite was probably the valentine's map because i think using the heart as the mechanic is a pain in the ass and it was just annoying although like i said the art and the music of valentine's was really good but actually the music in ethereal was pretty bad too the only saving grace it has is the art imo but anyways, let's go to my favorite map. My number one. Number one is actually in the advanced lobby. And I don't remember where it is, but I'll find it. Let's see if anyone can guess it before I get there. <clears throat> my personal favorite map which probably won't be uh it probably won't be um better than second place which was paint you know some people will disagree it's, it's a-okay with me let's see where is it skateboard map nah Skateboard was fun, but it's too gimmicky in my opinion. I don't remember the difficulty of the map. Let's see, maybe it's over here. It's gonna take me a second to find it. Let me look for the difficulty. Uh... Let me find a chair up here. Mm. Each has a banger of all the bad maps, redeems themselves there, lol. Become fun flags. Even though uh, I skip Ethereal Ascension, I still skipped it in uh, EHS. Um, where is it? Mm, is it over here? Jellyfish Sanctum. Mm. Where is it? Mm. Maybe here? No. Damn. It's my uh, it's hard to find. <laughs> Uh Oh, maybe over here. Here we go. My favorite map in the collab. Sands of Time. I got it. I found it. Oh. And my third favorite uh oh. There we go. <laughs> and my third favorite music track. So, this map is my favorite. The music kind of like just pulled me in. And it made everything much more fun. And this is my favorite mechanic as well. Where the time stops. And if you run out of dashes, the time uh, resumes again. Let's see it right here. And 
because it's my favorite map, I'm gonna play the whole thing. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe I did that. Maybe maybe I'm remembering the mechanic a little bit wrong here. Okay, okay, I see, I see. There's two there's actually two different time mechanics. The gray crystal will uh resume after a certain period of time. How do I do this again? <laughs> Let me skip this one, alright? No big deal. Okay. Okay. The only uh, blemish this map has is, um... Is the art style is not as good as like uh, some other maps, but you know, with my rating, art style is weighted the least. To me, everything is gameplay and music. With, of course, gameplay being more important than music. Damn. Another thing about this track that it's kind of happening right now is like because this is a time-related map. It's like uh, stopping a little bit, like in the background. Now, of course, the map may not be as technical as, you know, some expert maps, but I think the difficulty of this map is like perfect for, you know, the lobby that it's in, you know? Okay. Oh, so the blue crystal? That's the one where, like, if you run out of, uh, your dash, um, you know, time resumes. Like, see? I can stay here forever. Well, barring, like, uh, stamina. This is also like another very readable map. this map gotta check afterwards oh and I was doing this so wrong before That's just so cool, man. The time stop stuff is so cool. Oops. <clears throat> I wonder if my uh, opinion would have changed if I uh, played some extra maps. All right, skipping the screen. <laughs> Bring me over here. This is where I just was. Bring me over here. What? Hey, 
right here. Wait, what? Fine, bring me here. Okay. Isn't that cool? It's the coolest mechanic. IMO. Oh, okay, okay, I remember. This screen did take me a while. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Huh. Like this map was not annoying to play at all. actually changes now this also this map has like puzzles in it that's just like it's not annoying either you know the puzzles are actually fun to solve like this map right here is a puzzle or this screen right here is a puzzle screen and of course you can see the background pretty cool pretty cool The reason why you have to do this stuff on the right is because right here, this is where you actually have to go. That's that's what happens. So the idea is you need to have time frozen when you go over here. Otherwise, this thing will sh shoot up and kill you. So what you have to do is you have to do this spot. Now you don't have to go back here. But technically, for a strawberry, you you can. Safe. Oh yeah, that's right. I have the little clock bar right there too. I'm remembering, you know, I, have, I haven't done this map in a very long time. <clears throat> in quite some time. Hmm. I 
forgot how to do this. There we go. Okay. Did I not talk? I don't know what to do. <laughs> of course, there's a strawberry upright. But you get the picture. No need to get this heart. Those are my uh, top 10 Strawberry Jam collab maps. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? Did I, is there any other maps to talk about? Probably not. I guess I'll talk about um, my opinion on the whole collab as a whole. I think if I were to give it a score, up to Expert of course, not, not including Grandmaster. If I were to give it a score, I'd probably give it a solid 8, I would say. Um, the only thing that I would say hurt it a bit is the obsession with mechanics, right? Like, uh, comparing it to, like, the Spring Collab, I know some people don't like that, you know, compare it to Spring Collab, but when I compare it to that game, or that mod, it's pretty much a game, a new, whole new game, um, there's two things that stand out for me when it comes to Spring Collab, and this mod and one is it was less about implementing new mechanics and more about understanding the mechanics that were already in Celeste you know the things that you learned in the gyms and I mean of course personal bias uh, I definitely prefer not having some gimmicky shit over um, just regular Celeste right you know Ultras, supers, hypers, bubble supers, bubble this, jelly that, um, just the normal stuff. Uh, but in this collab, you know, sometimes you'll have a mechanic that is just, it's just not fun. And then you have to sort of like, sh not struggle, but like, you know, it's a pain in the ass to just play through this thing. It's like one of the reasons why I skipped Ethereal Ascension, because uh, at that point I was just... Like, I'm not gonna play something I'm not enjoying, right? Like, I'm, I'm not enjoying it at all. So I just didn't even bother. Um, if I would've played that map earlier, in like an earlier lobby, maybe I would've, you know, hustled through it, but I didn't feel like at that time, that's for sure. I'm like, you know what? I'm good, I'll pass. Um, so that's the first thing. And the second thing uh, I would say is the hard sides were less creative. Um, but I think that's like a more personal thing, because if I compare the hard sides in this to Spring Collab, Spring Collab, it felt like more, well, not just more creative, but like more love and soul went into those hard sides because, you know, you would have two to three, um, like maps from the lobby per screen, whereas in Spring Collab, uh, in uh, Strawberry Jam, it's just basically one screen per map, you know? And I think like a lot of the hard sides, they were kind of just overextended in length because of that. Like, you know, Expert has, what, like 29 maps? So you have a 29 flag hard side. It's like, Jesus, dude, it took me fucking uh, 12 hours even using safe states and stuff. So it was, uh, that was a little annoying. Like it would have been way cooler to see like, you know, the levels blended together in the hard side, you know? But, of course, still not a bad collab, still a mod worth playing. Oh, you never hear me not recommend the mod to anyone, that's for sure. Um, but I think uh, an 8 is a good score. I mean, it's a great score to be honest. It's not, it's easy, it's not easy for me to give an 8 out, that's for sure. You gotta earn that fucking 8 from me. I'm not a, you know, game journalist that's just tossing 8, 9s, and 10s out of nowhere. It's like, no, you earn my 8, that's for sure. To me, like five is average, and eight is like you know above and beyond. 
and of course this uh mod definitely went above and beyond so anyways uh that's it for me i mean not for tonight but for the top 10 thing 